Hey YouTube, it's your girl Jay Brown back with another video. Um, this is my Vlogmas, I wanna say day seven. Um, so today I thought it would be fun to do a luxury wish list video. Um, my luxury wish list is kind wish list is kind of long, uh, but you know, I wanted to go ahead and get this out there because honestly it's forever changing. But some of these pieces have been on my wish list for a couple of years now. Um, and I also thought it'd be fun uh, to put it out there for a certain husband who may just want to buy me any of these things. Haha. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get to the first item. The first item on my luxury wish list is not, um, it's not a small leather good or purse. It's actually a robe. So I first saw this robe. This item was brought to my attention on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Dennis and Portia were fighting back and forth over this Versace robe. And I'm like, why are y'all fighting with the robe, girl? Just give him his robe. What is the problem? And so from there, I looked it up and I saw that honestly, it is in a regular person's uh, within our reach. So the Versace robe um, that I'm referring to is the I Heart Baroque robe, and it currently retails for $575. And it has multiple colors. The color that I am partial to is the hot pink color with the white and gold Baroque trimming. Um, there's also a soft baby pink robe with um, pink and white trim that I believe is a little bit newer, but the one I like is the hot pink. So I have been wanting this robe for quite some time and it is at the top of my list. What has prevented me from purchasing it is honestly, I can't tell what size I will wear. I think I should just maybe shoot for the stars and order a 2X and hope for the best. it for Versace. My next um, luxury items are all Gucci. And let me move my notes closer because I ain't got my glasses on y'all. Um, they're all Gucci and the first item on my luxury wish list, wish list from Gucci is the Gucci Marmont card case in dusty pink and monogram. So this currently retails for $400. When it first came on my radar, it was under $400. So that's one thing um, that I can say. If you guys have luxury wish list items, try your best to get them, you know, as soon as possible because these prices are forever increasing. So that currently retails for $400. Um, it is so cute, it's compact, and I feel like it will go with quite a few of my bags. I don't mind mix mixing and matching with other um, brands. The next item on my list is the Gucci Large Cosmetic Case. This is the Ophidia Cosmetic Case, um, and it currently retails for $490. I love a good cosmetic case, y'all. And so I feel that the large size would best fit my needs. There is a smaller size, but I think I would prefer the um, the bigger one. So the next piece, and these are all um, from the Ophidia collection for Gucci. The next piece is the Ophidia pouch. It currently retails for $890. And it just looks like a good piece for traveling. It looks like it would be a great catch-all in a larger bag. And um, I think I would really enjoy it. It closely um, resembles the men's toiletry bag, which also retails for $890, but they are different. So um, yeah, I would love to add these pieces to my collection. And then the final piece um, from Gucci is the Gucci Ophidia GG Medium Tote. And it currently retails for $1,650. And it comes in several colors. The colors that I'm most drawn to are the ones with the um, white trim and then the one with the navy um, and the kind of just like maybe grayish um, GG print versus the brown and beige or the black and beige GG print. It also comes in, the, um, in a brown trim as well. So I really have been wanting this uh, Ophidia medium tote for quite some time. And I think I'm going to make it one of my um, goal items for 23. I'm going to save my coins and, and get that one. Because like I said, the prices are just ever increasing. I think when I first started looking at this bag, it was $1,300. And so now it's retailing for $1,650. So now we are going to switch gears and go over to Louis Vuitton. There are several pieces, but... Right now, I'm finding that I'm just obsessed with smaller the goods, you guys. 
I am not as into, I'm not gonna say I'm not as into bags right now, but I just feel like all of these bag prices for Louis Vuitton have just gotten way out of control. Um, but I do think that they're worth the splurge here and there. So then first um, small leather good that I would like from Louis Vuitton is the Victorine wallet. And I want it in the monogram print with the pink interior. It currently retails for $575. And I think that it is just so cute and so dainty and so pretty. So I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but I have several Coach Win wallets. And the Win wallet is very closely, um, it it's a dupe almost for the Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet. Like it's set up the exact same way. Um, so I thought that that would kind of, you know, cure my, my desire for that, but nope, it hasn't. I still want it. Um, the next piece I want is the Louis Vuitton Zippy wallet, also in the monogram and um, pink ballerine on the interior. I'm not too sure. Honestly, I'm kind of torn on the pink interior just because I know it's light and it could get dirty easily. But again, I'm not hard on my products. Um, and that Zippy wallet currently um, retails for $850 in the monogram. If you want like the emprunt leather, um, of course it costs a bit more. Um, the next small leather good I want from Louis Vuitton is the mini pochette. Now I know this piece is overhyped, it is overpriced, and I still want it. I still want it. So it currently retails for $745. But if you are looking for something similar and you don't want to pay that amount of money, you can always get the Coach Nolita 15. Perfect size, um, holds a lot, and it is very comparable to the um, Louis Vuitton mini pochette. Um, the next piece I want that I think personally I believe is a good bargain is the Kirigami set and the monogram print. I love the lining on these, um, the pink, the red, and the berry color on the inside of these. They are so pretty. I love how they stack inside each other, how they have multiple uses. I, would, I think I would really enjoy this set and I think it is a much better deal in comparison to the mini pochette. Okay, let's move on to some bags. Um, I have three bags on my wish list. So the first one's actually a backpack. For the longest, I was obsessed with the Palm Springs Mini, but I think the Palm Springs MM would be a better fit for me. Um, that bag currently retails for $2,710. And y'all know I love me a good mini backpack. Um, I love the size on that one. Um, I'm not a big fan of like the puffy straps. I would need to touch them and see them in person. They look kind of just bulky, but everyone says they're really comfortable. So maybe, maybe I'll enjoy it. So I look forward to going into the boutique one day and trying it on and seeing if I would really enjoy it. The next item on my wish list is the On The Go MM in the reverse monogram I want to say or it might just be the plain monogram but it I like the one that has the the dark brown and the light brown um monogram print on it I didn't even know this bag was a thing until one day I walked into the office and one of the nurses um her name's actually LV like LV isn't that cute and so she would always have like some really nice Louis Vuitton bags and it was just sitting on her desk and it said good morning to me it said good morning I'm here and ever since then, that bag has just been in my dreams. Um, that bag currently retails for $3,100. And it is gorgeous. And I do believe the MM size would be perfect for me. But again, I would need to try it on in person and compare it to the GM size. But I'm thinking for every day without it being too big and bulky, the MM would be perfect. And then the last bag on my list is the Pochette Matisse in the reverse monogram. So this is the original one that I wanted, but at the time when I was looking to purchase one, the it was never in stock. It was never in stock. So it currently retails for $2,570. And I love the print. I love the fact that it has the dark and the light color monogram canvas. I love the black leather handle and the strap. I love that it is very carefree as opposed to the just regular monogram canvas with the regular um, fascetta leather, leather. Because I don't wanna be bothered with babying leather. So 
Um, that is definitely on my wish list. And I don't know when I'm going to get it, but I'm going to get some of these this year. So I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video. If you have not already, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, YouTube.